Hi, I'm Dr. Reaver with Palmetto Pain Management in Columbia, South Carolina. In our office, we see many patients with various headache syndromes, different types of atypical facial pain, as well as trigeminal neuralgia. I'm going to introduce you to a technique to perform a sphenopalatine ganglion block. This is a treatment that has been used for decades, but it is now safer, simpler, and more comfortable for the patient. This is a 38-year-old female who has a 10-year history of chronic recurrent migraine headaches. She has had very limited success with multiple treatments, including a number of medication trials. She is actually here for repeat treatment as she had her initial sphenopalatine ganglion block approximately six months ago and her headaches are just beginning to return. She's here today to have the treatment repeated and we are hopeful that she will have a good result once again. We have the patient lying supine on the procedure table. The C-arm is positioned for a lateral view and we are monitoring her with a pulse oximeter. The initial step is taking cotton swabs that are soaked with lidocaine jelly and as you can see I am going to anesthetize the nares bilaterally and I will do this for several minutes. She's now ready to have the SPG block done. I am going to also lubricate the sphena calf with some lidocaine jelly to ease its passage uh, through the nares to a site just below the floor of the frontal sinus as you will see in a moment. I am slowly advancing the sphena calf to just below the frontal sinus floor. I am now going to deploy the inner catheter as you can see is now uh, making a right angle pointing posterior along the middle turbinate. I'm going to attach the syringe with contrast to confirm the placement of the sphena cath. I'm going to inject a small amount of contrast and we can see it traverse the middle turbinate to the pterygopalatine fossa where of course the sphenopalatine ganglion lies. We can see the contrast flowing right to the pterygopalatine fossa. I am now going to connect the syringe that includes 4% lidocaine and 3 milligrams of betamethasone and I'm going to administer 2 mLs of the injectate. We will repeat the same sequence on the other side uh, performing this treatment bilaterally. As you can see the patient is tearing and this is an expected response when we administer medication that anesthetizes the sphenopalatine ganglion. I will instruct the patient not to swallow right at the time that we're administering the lidocaine so that she doesn't get a mouthful of the bitter tasting substance. We have them wait to swallow for a few seconds and then they're free to do so. Once the treatment is completed, we keep the patient supine with the neck slightly extended for approximately 10 minutes and discharge them once they're feeling fine as long as they don't have any residual numbness in the throat. Now that you've had a chance to take a look at the video and if you're one of those unfortunate patients that suffers with intractable headaches and facial pain, if you're interested in finding out if you're a candidate for this procedure, don't hesitate to contact our office.